Mr. I'm not going to skirt around this issue anymore. Do you, you take you, 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 do you take responsibility for running Zimbabwe down the drain? We take we take responsibility for Zimbabwe to become the fastest growing economy on the African continent with billionaires investing in our lithium with new steel plants being being How is it in, the fastest in, growing country uh, in the world you, you, with inflation you can't, read, you, you can't read figures yourself that's your problem <laughs> come to Zimbabwe and see what's happening on the ground <laughs> you, you know you, I, I don't speak from an audio a person who's based in the studio who doesn't who, who, who speaks like a propagandist I've been responsible for the investments which I'm talking about. So I know what's happening. We are building the largest steel plant in Africa. We, have be, we are building uh, lithium plants. We are exporting lithium concentrates. We are revamping our railways. We are growing this economy. The World Bank has said so. The IMF is saying so. Only you and you, the, the, some boneheads who try to make to, to paint Zimbabwe in a certain manner are trying to make us look like we are basket case. We are not. Okay. We All right, not, and definitely we are not. And we are not a province of South Africa. We Thank you very much. We are not a province of South Africa. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your time, Christopher Mutangwa, speaking. Yeah, so is that is a uh, Tolim Gambi's interview with uh, Chris Mutangwa. It's just a clip, but it gives you an idea of uh, the type of political minds that Zimbabwe has. The way in which uh, Mtswangwa conducted himself in this interview, I, I think it's quite um, it's disappointing, really. It doesn't show um, the decorum and uh, the honor and the respect that we would expect from a party spokesperson. I think it's quite... <laughs>